hi everyone welcome back in this lesson I will share with you how to update open PLC editor so that you have this new lovely features that the editor comes with let's get started kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell this way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos okay so we have the old editor right here now let's look at uh, the Arduino download button and then take note of it yes this is the Arduino download button okay so when we click on it we will have this interface for the download and you could see that is the old one that we've been using all this while we have the Arduino bolts right there we have the com port and basically now it's com1 we have the id and just note this the id is by default one in this old one okay we'll move on now and then go to file and then come to check for update and then the update starts okay so we can see that it's updating from this old version to this very new one okay we click ok Okay, update is done. Click OK now. And then we need to close the app. That is the Arduino IDE. And then we reopen it again. Okay, we go to file. And then we create a new project. We can see that the interface is basically the same. But let's look at where the changes comes in. Okay, so we create a folder for this particular project. So we go to new and then folder. Okay, we name this folder test. Okay, we select the folder and then click select folder. Okay, so we give our project a name that is going to be our test underscore relay and then we select ladder for it and we click OK. Okay, great. Now we can see that the interface now appears again we notice that everything seems to be the same but then let's look at the Arduino icon it looks different now okay great now let's create a simple project so I click on the variable and then add a new variable name let's say relay one I choose blue for it and then give it an address we are starting from 0.0, .0 so Q0.0 .0 for our relay 1 output. I click on the plus sign to add two more variables. And then the input will be coming from a Modbus interface. So I will change this to MB underscore on, which indicates Modbus underscore on. Assign it to an output dot 4. And then Modbus 2, assign it to output dot 5. And I quickly create a simple logic that when I press the first input or activate the first input in the Modbus register, it should be able to turn the relay on on my Arduino board. Okay, I switch to right and click OK. As okay, I select the variable that is going to be my mb underscore on and I click OK all right I position it correctly and then I go in for a call I need to make it negative because my relay negative because my relay is active low and then I select the relay I wire it to the next section of the rank I select both items and then copy them paste change it to modbus2 and then change the relay to as well to relay2 
okay connect it done and then when i click on the arduino icon let's look at how the interface now looks like okay we we'll wait for some time for it to compile and then we can see a lovely interface now okay so we can see our boards right here which is lovely we can see our pots we can select it just like the old one okay it's 14 in my case and now we have a compare only that is the transfer we have the IO now you see that with this new one you will be able to know which inputs or which particular pins your board is making use in open PLC okay so we have the analog inputs right there and we have the analog output too as well great so we can really know we are making use of input output 7 and 8 in this project and then when you come to communication that's where you can activate either you want to use a modbus interface so i want to use modbus seria so i activate it look at it by default it's zero for the old one is one so i send it back to one in this case and then i have to disable the modbus tcp because i'm using modbus seria okay and then we have the interface to either restore settings or you save your settings i click on save all right so now we'll move on and then look at our setup quickly here's our setup we have power connection we have the ios connected to seven and eight and then on the relay we also connect it to the relay model as well okay great now with the board connected to my plc sorry with the board connected to my pc i click on the download or the transfer to plc button okay so downloads the upload starts okay upload is done you can see it flashing and then we can see that done there great we can now do a quick test using our modbus tester so i go to modbus test and then click on it it opens and i need to set it up so you go to connections and then click on settings i'm using modbus rtu i have changed my com port so i change it to com2 and then i click ok and i click on the connect to connect to my plc board which is my arduino board i click on the new and we can see that the outputs one and two because we are indexing from one and two is almost on I click on the output 5 and then send on signal and then we can see the relay coming on. I click on the output 6 and then send the on signal. We can see it's coming on as well, working perfectly. I then click on it again and send an off signal. And then click on the next one, send the off signal, working perfectly. So we can see how improved this new interface looks like. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.